not the best of times for John Fashionu. A stretcher and a red card marked his exit from his last match. Now it was his own goal that opened proceedings at Boundary Park. Any confidence Wimbledon may have gained by taking 10 points from four games were further undermined by Darren Bernard's goal. Oldham themselves have been showing signs of retreating from the edge of the dark abyss. Now they began to look properly like a team emerging into the light. Ian Olney's drive made it 3-0. But the team that beat Manchester United began to look more like the team that lost to Sheffield United after Dean Holdsworth reduced the margin in the second half. Seven minutes later, the Oldham revival began to look even more shaky. Dean Holdsworth, who struck a rich seam lately, claimed Wimbledon's second goal and his seventh in six games. Then came an illustration of the way the long ball game can rebound. Hans Segers had come wide to launch a free kick, Oldham regained possession and were back in Wimbledon's penalty area before Segers had completely recovered his position. Only again the scorer. Next, a second cautionable offence by Gerald Dobbs reduced Wimbledon to ten men. Fifteen minutes from the end, Oldham struck again. A fine goal by Neil Adams, his ninth of the season, making him joint leading scorer with Olney. And still there was time for new signing Darren Beckford to come off the bench and make it 6-2. Oldham out of the bottom three. Psychologically, said Joe Royal, a great boost. <laughs>